Hey guys, it's Mr. Post, and on today's video, we'll be determining the formula of ternary ionic compounds and also learning about polyatomic ions. So in order to understand ternary ionic compounds, we're first going to take a look at what a polyatomic ion is. Okay guys, up until now, we've been learning about binary ionic compounds, although we have not used that term. Those are simply ionic compounds that are made up of two different elements. All right, made up of two different elements. And the elements that are in the slide here are going to be sodium and chlorine, making sodium chloride. So now we're at polyatomic ions. A polyatomic ion is simply a group of elements that act as one, and they carry one charge. And a good example of this is the first one we look at here, carbonate. Carbonate has carbon, it has oxygen as well, and together those two carry a 2 minus charge. And so, just so we're crystal clear here, that's one element, and that is a second element. And I'm not really worried right now about how many of that second element I have. The point is, I want to show you I have two or more different elements that together hold one charge. That is one charge. Another one I can look at down here is ammonium. Ammonium is made up of a, it's a group of elements that is made up of more than one element. It is an ion because it has a charge. I have my first element here and I have my second element here. So I have nitrogen and hydrogen, and together they hold just one charge. And that charge in this case happens to be one positive. That one positive is distributed over the whole entire polyatomic ion. It is not that hydrogen has the one plus, but that both those elements together have the one positive charge. Not that we're going to look at every single one of these, but here is a, a small list of polyatomic ions. We see we have ammonium in the upper left-hand corner, followed by carbonate right below it. And once again, this is a carbon oxygen with a 2 minus charge. So it's carbonate is CO3 with a 2 minus charge. That 2 minus charge goes on the whole entire CO3. We have cyanide down here, and that has a 1 minus charge. Moving down a little farther, I have bicarbonate. And this whole entire bicarbonate structure here has a 1 minus charge. And this is what was known as a polyatomic ion. More than one element, polyatomic, that carries a charge. This leads us to the next topic, oh, it's ternary ionic compounds. A ternary ionic compound is simply an ionic compound that is made up of three elements. Here's our three elements. We have calcium, phosphorus, and oxygen. Calcium is the first element. Phosphorus is the second element. And oxygen is the third element. So I have an ionic compound made of three different elements. OK, guys, here we go. We're going to now work on determining the formula unit for sodium carbonate. All right, so this is going to be sodium and carbonate. We have an an ion of sodium and an ion of carbon. And together, they're going to come together to form the ternary ionic compound, sodium carbonate. And this is no different than what we've done beforehand. We've actually taken Na, which is the 1 plus charge, and we're going to take carbonate now. And just as we've done beforehand, I want you to cross the charges. Bring that 2 minus over next to sodium. I'm going to bring the 2 there, and I'm going to bring the 1 all the way over on the other side of carbonate. And so what I end up now with is Na2CO3. And any time I have just 1 as my subscript on the outside, you, do, you are aware that we never really write the 1 if it's there. And the same way, if the 1 is there, we've removed the parentheses. So this ends up becoming Na2CO3. And that is my ternary ionic compound for sodium carbonate. Okay, the next one is going to be calcium chlorate. So I'm looking at calcium chlorate. I want to draw the polyatomic ion. Why don't you press pause and attempt to give me the formula of calcium chlorate. Okay, hopefully you made an attempt. I'm going to take it as Ca has a 2 plus charge. Chlorate is a ClO3 with a 1 minus charge, and we're going to cross those numbers. The 1 is going to be crossed over here, 
the 2 is going to be crossed on the outside over here, and I end up with a CA1, CLO3, with a 2 on the outside. And that is the formula for calcium chlorate. Here's another one, guys. Calcium sulfate. Calcium sulfate is a ternary ionic compound. Please cross the charges and give me the formula for this ionic compound. Press pause. Please do it yourself. I'm going to take calcium, which has a 2 plus charge. I'm going to take sulfate, which is SO4. That's an SO4 there, with a 2 minus charge. And I'm going to cross those numbers. The 2 comes over there and the 2 comes over there. And whenever I have 2's, they reduce down to 1 and 1, and this just is simply written CaSO4. That's calcium sulfate. So I've determined the formula unit of CaSO4. The last one we're going to try today is aluminum nitrate. Once again, please give me the formula unit. Press pause. Take your best effort. Okay, guys, aluminum is a 3 plus charge. Nitrate is NO3 with a 1 minus charge, and we're going to cross the 1 over here and cross the 3 over there. And although I'm not showing you what I'm doing, I am crossing the 3 this way, I'm crossing the 1 over there. And this 3 actually ends up right there. That's where I'm crossing it to. And what I end up with in this case is AL1 and NO3 with some parentheses of three of them. So once again, I crossed my 3 plus all the way over there, and I crossed my 1 all the way over here. And the formula unit is ALNO3. All right, guys, that concludes our lesson on ternary ionic compounds, which involve polyatomic ions. Please review it if you need to refresh yourself. Otherwise, I hope that helped. Best wishes. See you later.